Yeah, man, this thing is fresh. Oh, my name is Bob, by the way. I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you, man. Tyler just popped in. We're gonna find out if Stars and Stripes gets the job done on a black truck. It's not too bad, though, right? I mean, a little mud here and there, not not too horrible. You mentioned you had a black truck. I'm like, pull it in. Let's find out. We got some grime in the rims too. Are these raw aluminum, or are they coated with something? Do you ever have to polish them? I I haven't yet, yeah. but um, <laughs> we'll I know it would probably do a good job. Yeah. <laughs> My stuff's designed for polish. It should be fine on there. This is a nice truck though, man. King Ranch. We'll put the stars and stripes on it, and I'm just curious to see how long it takes to get it done. I think we can do this in five minutes. You got a timer on your phone? Ready? Yeah. Yep.
man, I was way off, bro. Seven minutes. No! What's your record? I did a Kenworth day cab, or no, maybe it was a Peterbilt day cab in 14 minutes. That was pretty good, but I haven't timed myself on a King Ranch before. So now we know, seven minutes is, I could probably move a hair faster, but I still wanted to do a good job, because I don't want you to be like, oh, this stuff sucks. Oh, this looks great. So how long does it normally take you to clean this? Anyway? At the car wash, probably at least 15 minutes of self-serve. You're, you're like hand washing it? Uh, I don't hand wash it, but I, I do like a touchless, like with their gun. Okay, yeah. But, but it still has that film left on yeah. it. Yeah. Right, oh, it's, so. it's definitely not. I hit pretty hard with this thing too, but you could do it with any power washer. If you just if you use a different power washer, like a, a smaller one, yep. it would just take a little longer. You know what I mean? So right. the the gallons per minute, this is three and a half gallons per minute, that gives me some speed. Helps okay. move quicker. So the machine keeps up with me. If you yep. use a smaller one, like an electric that's maybe a one point two or something, you'd be back up to fifteen minutes. But you'd probably have no film when you're done. The soaps will still work and the pressure is still there. Yep. Let's get some snake oil on this thing, see how it comes out. So like yep. I embrace that because I wanted to, I know everybody deals with it. So right. let's dry it off real quick. 
and then we'll see what's left. We'll, uh, we'll wipe it down in a couple spots and see what we've got. Oh. Get the double. Fire that thing out, man. we're 95% of the way there. Yep. When you look at it dry, you can still see where there's still some grime or where I missed a little bit. You know what I mean? Like right here, if you look in right here, you can see the trail of my power washer nozzle yep. versus and up to here and out here. <laughs> like <laughs> I basically missed like this little swath right here. And that's the difference between rinsing enough and not, you know what I mean? Right. And then like over here on the front of this thing, I hit pretty good right here, but this is where a lot of your heavy stuff was. So yep. this might have been the limitation of the system, you know what I mean? Yep. I think probably, you know, Usually in this... when I get done washing it, it's like a lot worse. Like you can oh, yeah, see yeah. like, you can see all the mud you know where the mud was yeah some of that might be a little bit of a paint i don't know bad paint correction yeah something going on there we can try it. so this is where i would bust out the next thing that can help out is the awesome sauce at the end yep. of it you spray it on you wipe it with a microfiber and that usually gets it to like 100 percent looking good yep everything short of paint correction you know so let's throw some of that on there in those spots and once you get it to like 100%, you have it all slippery with something like snake oil, that's when you can, you know, just do the touchless wash and get a little better results. Yep. You would just keep up with it, maybe do it once every week or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, you know, depending. You know, the thing is with mud, the longer the, the mud sits on there, the less likely it's going to come off without agitation or even sometimes, like, I've, I've had to buff the mud stains out of my, my wow. pan on my Jeep. Yeah, that's just like the longer it sits on there, I think the worse. So yeah, let me grab a couple rags for us here. And then we can, uh, I'll grab like two um, awesome sauce sprayers. And that'll go pretty quick. And then you get a feel for the awesome sauce. Better time taking care of it, but it was still, you know, like I explained, like I'd wash it and sometimes it didn't look like I washed it besides the excess dirt that was taped on. Huh. But this that's already cool. looks so much better than I. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, here. It's difficult, you know, when I'm going through all kinds of. Yeah. Yeah. Mud and like. Mud. And yeah. Bugs. And some of this stuff you just. You just spray it on there and wipe it down. Yep. It's really easy. It's also ceramic. It's SiO2 ceramic. So this stuff goes pretty good. Ooh, it's gonna be difficult to reach, but I think we got it. Yeah, this is just like, kind of like snake oil, but um, just a different application method. And it's, uh, you know, it's a great touch up tool when you're done. Yep. Cause you always miss a spot. You can't really help it. Right. Yeah, but once you get it to like this, this kind of level, then it's a lot easier to touchless wash it and get better results. Yep. Let me get a shot of that grill over there. I bet there's some good stuff in that. Let me zoom right in on that there. Oh man, that's gonna be a nice shot. Yeah, like these bugs right in here, man. Yep. Let's come back and it gives you a chance to just kind of make it show ready. You know, like you're gonna go out to the you're gonna go out to the King Ranch show. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This stuff is amazing. Wow. It's easy to use. That's what I like about it. You could even put it on wet. But I yep. wanted to see what we had, you know, once it was dry and how I did on the touchless wash. I would say that's our main claim to fame is the touchless uh, approach. Yep. Because it's, it just saves a lot of time and it's uh, unique. Yeah, that works great. Wow. Definitely got the job done. For sure. But the truck looks good, man. This thing is sharp. Thank you. You're going to look good going down the road after here. You're gonna oh, yeah, for sure. I hopped in that place. <laughs> yeah, no, this is like, uh, come on, good. Did we, already, we didn't get here yet. So let's coat this whole thing down. Okay. You get that back door, I'll get the front one. No, it's fantastic, man. This truck needed this. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of hands-on. And it's, you know, what are you talking, a half an hour? Right. I mean, I don't know, it's not too bad, right? We just did the works on this. Yeah, thing. we gotta hit up that wheel that had that spot that I missed, man. 
Oh, yeah. We're gonna fix these spots right here that I missed. This will go quick and easy, man. Quick and easy. This is the secret to making it look a lot more acceptable. This is my first time using this Detail Factory fender brush as a tire shine applicator. I have high hopes. Here's hoping that it works good. I think it's gonna need to get saturated though. Let's see here. I think a brush like this would allow you to get in pretty close to the ground so you don't have to roll the tires necessarily. Yep. So this stuff like would be pretty runny if you didn't like work it in. So that's what the brush is for. Now I usually use that, that sprayer in my videos that has the brush that sprays the tire shine out. Yep. But I find that to be kind of like the coil hose on that, I find it to be like a Chinese puzzle. It's always tying itself in a knot. Right. And I'm always fiddling with it. So I decided to just use this and see how that works. You still have that rag on you? I do. Let's buff down this thing real quick. Let's get this like looking good from the overspray. And now if anything, this will just repel the mud a little bit better because this stuff is pretty good at um, repelling dirt and uh, even salt and stuff like that. So look at that. Wow. Dude, this is coming out mint. This is looking amazing. Yeah. Oh man. Bro, I think we did it. How'd we do? Awesome. <laughs> Great job. I think we got it, bro. It's it's definitely. Good. You think so? Yeah. Damn. Definitely. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was good to meet you too. Bob, I appreciate man. it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Looking good, bro. Don't in your bottle.